Hello everybody, this is Sirik 1983 and welcome back to Neverwinter Nights. Alright, let's see where this long hallway leads. More undead. <laughs> Prepare <laughs> to become one with eternity. Nice. Ow. Sweet. Yeah, I'll go in here uh, later. Your end. There! You know, I guess this makes up for all those times where I seem to be hitting every single time, so... <laughs> I'm just gonna let it go. Nice. Alright. Okay, there's a couple of bags here. Spell, and... some gold. <laughs> yourself. <laughs> nice. Weak, weak, weak. Alright. Don't need power attack. I need aim, though. <laughs> Alright, what's in here? Whoa. What the hell? It looks like somebody's living here. Okay, yeah, uh, these things, some of them have traps, some of them don't. Uh, which ones have traps? I think that one has a trap. So okay, okay. Get them unlocking some of them. Bash this one. <laughs> Prepare to become one uh, it's with done. eternity. There! Oh, there we go. Yeah, he's gonna go after that now. Ah, uh. uh, it's done! One more hit should do it. Now. Of course, I miss. You okay, miss. okay. You miss a stationary object the size of that. Yeah, that's that. Oh, do, are there any glasses in this game? Uh, it's done. Oh, <laughs> uh, seven gold. This desk, I think, is locked. Maybe not. Right, let's see what's in the armor. Alright, here we go, our first magic bag. It uh, reduces weight by 20%, so let's get some of the heavier stuff in there. Shave some pounds off. Anything else? Uh, I don't think so. Alright. Oops, there was other stuff in there too, wasn't there? Alright, there's an ancient key and a crumpled note. I have gained much since the academy was attacked. I did not see who freed me and I don't care. Strength has come to me strangely, quickly. There is definitely some greater power at work in Neverwinter, and it favors me this day. I have seen it in the dreams. I see the eye. I don't know what it means, but I know this. If the Neverwintons want me for their cure, they can carve the contribution from my corpse. So saith Gulnan. Oh, sounds like it's could be one of the water demon creatures. Oh, what's in here? And Gulnan's journal. The sheep of Sirik fell swiftly, fools, and to think their pathetic leader Jared was going to smash the altar to keep its power from me, perhaps I should just kill him. It would quell the last of its followers, although they already seek to appease me. My own sect of snake worshippers. How amusing. Soon I won't need to cower in the warrens with their precious necromantic focus. It is an interesting device. I will grant Jared that. I have used it to create an army of undead, and I will learn more about it each time I link with its power. Its pillar-like appearance disguises how fragile it truly is, and despite its power, I must constantly watch that my undead servants don't inadvertently damage it, it damage it with their clumsy flailing. Woohoo! I did the first try that time. <laughs> Too many L's in those in those two words. Okay, as far as traps goes, I really don't care about those. It's just this trap I really do care about because it can kill you. Like that. <laughs> I'd rather him die than me. Damn it. Hey, I can actually damage it. What am I doing with weight? Alright. Sweet. Alright. Padded armor. Okay. I guess I'll, I'll go solo for a bit now. 
I don't really need him for a little while. And you know, the extra experience can help. Oh, hello. Another one. And yeah, that's the. Re I guess that's the result of me uh, double clicking that one time. Hey, who's this? Yeah. In case you didn't read my. Uh, little note on the bottom of a previous episode, yeah, the reason that all those uh, cultists uh, clothes were black and purple is because they were Syric worshippers. What? To Jared. By the black sun, how could she fell me? The snake gods are pitiful beneath the notice of mighty Syric. Cease your raving. Oh, certainly. Bully the man in the cage. How sporting. As bold as the scaled worm that seduced my flock and now takes their lives. The indignity. Who are you? Who am I? I am a follower of the great god Sirik. I am a servant of the coming day of the Dark Sun. I am his will. I am Jared, and I am also caged like so many worthless enemies of the Prince of Lies that I have put to their end. My flock, my flock are usurped, but I shall not bow, I shall not bend. Sirik shall see to my freedom. How did you end up in there? I was usurped, if you must know. She corrupted the weakest of my flock, and now the rest follow or join her legions of undead. I am to be gutted upon her altar. Me! It's not right. Jared of Sirik does not does the gutting, not some scaled worm. Uh, what would you? You would defeat her if released. She already beat you. I wasn't ready. <laughs> she was sneaky. She was supposed to be weak. She's a scaled worm. Damn it! Where did she get such power? What god does she sacrifice to? What indeed? The, not the god of her pathetic people. Whatever name such a whelp goes by, Sirik would not have allowed that defeat. She cheats. She's got some power on her side. One that dares ignore my true calling. One that abuses the focus I created. Focus? What do you mean? <sighs> if you dared beg this knowledge at any other time, I would skin you alive. It is not for outsiders to know, but I will not allow her to keep it, even if that means some pawn like you taking it from her. It is a tool, a darkly magic stone. It makes the flesh of the dead useful for things. Take it from her. It is mine by right. It is pledged to Sirik, not her false lord, whatever it is. All right, well, I'm leaving. What should I do about you, hmm? Well, imbecile, you should feel the, fear the will of Sirik and appease him. Release his loyal servants so my dark work in his name continues. Really, you should let me out. Such an action will speak well of you, and guarantee a swift, merciful death when my lord rules all. <laughs> uh, oh, what the hell, I'll see what I can do. Yes, I shall rebuild the grand and glorious cabal of Sirik I had so long planned to unleash upon the city in its weakest moments. Uh, what I mean, of course, is that the followers of Sirik will aid the city as best they can. Yes, yes, of course they will. Let me out. Do it! <laughs> yeah, normally Tommy would be uh, unlocking this, but he's not here, so let's... Hang on, can I even open it? No, it's locked. So yeah, I have to let out a worshipper of Sirik. Come on! <laughs> there we go. It's free! Yeah, but I'm gonna kill you anyway. <laughs> Damn it. Yeah, the uh, spell they keep casting isn't Greater Invisibility, it's Sanctuary. It's a little spot where they can buff up in privacy, but uh, yeah, well, he'll die anyway. Come on. Alright. Nice. It's nice to see critical hits again. Oh, it's in here. In service of Sirik. Excerpt. Sirik, why have you allowed me to be so weak? That conniving Yanti wench has taken her beloved focus and the altar that I constructed to show your glory. The glory of the Dark Sun. Now she kills what few loyalists I have left and raises them as undead with its power. Great Prince of Lies, I must smash the focus before her army grows too great with its misuse. How dare she drag it to the depths of the Warrens. She wastes its potential on Plague Dead. Her scales will be plucked one by one. I will rend. It appears whatever that whatever writing pl implement Jared was using broke at this point. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, take that because he can sell it. All right, let's go. Oh, he's got remains. What do we got here? Uh, cure light wounds. Yeah, I guess that's useful. All right, let's uh, take care of the rest here. More zombies. Yeah. <laughs> 
Sweet. More corpses. Oh god, let's where are they? Don't know. Alright. Bullets. Bolts. And gold piece. Alright, so that's all the time I have for this video, so uh yeah. Between now and the next video, I'll head back to the template here, I guess sell off my excess equipment so I can make it worth my while, rehire Tommy back into my party, and I'll meet you right back here. This is Sirik1983 signing off. Have a good one.